Fiona asks, I've had my 18 month out of nappies for just over three weeks now. We've gone from 12 or 13 sets of wet clothes every day to him holding it much longer and pointing to the potty when he needs it. That's what I was just saying. Or he's already going. And if I'm not in the room, he just goes. <laughs> However, the last few days he screams and fights me when I try to sit him on the potty, even when he signals he wants to go. I don't want to stop as I feel I'd failed. And my friends said I was doing it too early. Help, please. Thank you. And Oksana says, sounds like your son is asking for more independence. Have you tried teaching him part of the process, such as pulling his pants down or sitting himself on the potty? You're doing great. Congrats on being diaper free. And Tracy says, yes, me too. I've had a lot of friends say I'm doing it too early and it's discouraging. So there's two parts to this. First of all, tell your friends to mind their own business. You can show them this video. Andrea says, mind your own business. In 1957, 92% of children were done with potty training by 18 months. If you had an 18 month old who was still in nappies at that age, you would be looked at like you're waiting too long. So it's cultural. It's the diaper companies telling us how to parent. And like I did on my coach Q and a last week, I'm not having that. I'm not letting the diaper companies tell me how to parent. So why should you let the nappy companies tell you how to parent? Um, you're not doing it too early. It's just recently the last two generations that it's gotten later and later because of diaper companies. 92% of United States ch children, children in the US, were toilet trained by 18 months in 1957. I mean, my God, it's doubled in two generations because of stinking diaper companies. And I know it because one of my mentors worked for Pampers for 35 years and he told me they were just trying to help people. They were just trying to sell more diapers. So um, you're welcome, Blair. Thank you for being here. Um, I just have to say that if your friends are saying you're too early, you tell them that statistic and you say, hey, 1957, that was the age. And guess what was invented in 1961? Disposable nappies, disposable diapers. So I know you think I'm doing it too early, but I'm not. In the 50s and before, it was way earlier than that because babies are capable. This child is capable and your lack of support is frankly getting me down and I'm tired of it. Stop discouraging me. I'm doing what feels right for me. You're, you're telling me you're, you're basically judging me and telling me that I'm not doing it at the right time and you're discouraging me. And how is that being a friend? Instead, why don't you do a little research or just trust me 1950s right before disposables were invented. This was that. It wasn't even the average. The average was like 16 months. So, so, you know, think about it. Are we letting the diaper companies tell us how to parent? Or are we empowering ourselves with what is biologically and physiologically possible for our children and psychologically? What do they desire? Point them at Montessori, that toilet training video I emailed to the list a while back, a couple months ago. What do they do in Montessori? The sensitive period for toilet training is 12 to 18 months. And then the child is freed up to learn. So I'm sorry. Don't listen to your friends. And if they can't be talked to about it, just tell them, you know what? I really would appreciate that we don't talk about this anymore because you're really putting a wrench in my wheel. I don't like it. Um, <laughs> yeah, Maya, what you wrote. I just thank you. I just, okay. So the other thing you could do instead of confronting, I'm a confrontive kind of person. The other thing you could do instead of confronting them is say, Thanks for your input. And that's it. And then let it slide right off because there's nothing wrong with your friends for saying that. They're just doing what they've been taught by our culture. And what our culture has been taught is by our pediatricians who were taught by the diaper companies to late potty train. It is BS, but it's innocent, right? We only know what we've been told. So we can help to change that by just doing what we believe in, despite what everybody else says, privately, and don't broadcast it, don't post on Facebook, don't tell anybody. Don't talk about it with them. Okay, and then you're not gonna fail. So here's back to Fiona. He screams and fights you, so you need to go into the bathroom together with the mini putty on the ground, get his pants down, or teach him how to get his pants off in a non-pottying time, lock the door with both of you in there and say, here, there's where you pee, sit and pee. You do it yourself. You're a big boy, you do it yourself. I'm not gonna help you. I'm not going to help you. And that changes the power struggle a little bit. And then do that a few times. And even if he just pees on the floor right in front of it, that's fine. He screams and fights you because he really wants to be in control. Yeah. And then when your baby is clean and happy, your friends will see and they'll be like amazed. 
But if you let them get you down, then of course you're going to fail. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. So hang in there, everybody, hang in there. You're going against the grain. And if you weren't, I'd be worried. If you weren't, then our world would be in trouble. So thank you for going against the grain. It's important. All right. And just relax. It's not the end of the world. And even if it takes a couple of months, it's not a big deal.